Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, what's up? Returning viewers, hey. Oh, my gosh. Um, channel members, what's up? What's up? What's up? Love you, boo. Love you, boo. Yeah, you see your name on the screen? Yeah. Okay, first things first, let's get into it. I want to go ahead and get into Beyonce. So, it seems like Beyonce is gearing up, okay, to be teasing to drop some new products, okay? As you all know, she's already been selling her sacred hair care line, her whiskey line, Sir Davis. And, you know, she has her perfume company where she has a sacred perfume. Yes, 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 okay? And people are noticing that there is a box in the back of her picture that she has posted, okay? And she has her sacred, her whiskey, and then another product that she's teasing, okay? What could be the new tier? Now, if this is a new business, I'm cringing. Why are we dropping so many businesses? And why are we launching so many products, okay? Is the music not making the money enough? Is it like, did you run out of Renaissance tour money that quick, girl? What's going on here, okay? You made over $500 million. Where the money at? Did Jay-Z steal it all? What's T, okay? Um, now, if this is just another addition to one of her businesses, Okay, that's not bad. You know, when you run a business, you have to keep things fresh and new. You know, that's just how it goes, okay? But it does seem like she's launching a lot of products pretty quickly. And I had, the last thing I would expect Beyonce to do is to launch a whiskey brand. I feel like Beyonce doesn't give enough space in between her product launches for it to breathe. So, for example, she dropped Sacred earlier this year. And then, like, shortly after, she drops the whiskey and then, you know, hopefully in two months or three months, she doesn't drop anything else, okay? Because that would just be too much. You know, it's like she's just really trying. But, you know, I commend her. She's trying. And she wants to have a successful business because she understands the power of being able to make money in your sleep without having to go on tour. Rihanna beat it. Rihanna did it. Rihanna conquered that. Rihanna made that her lifestyle now, okay? The most conversation we have about Rihanna being out and about in public is at fashion shows, Okay, that's the most that Rihanna's going to give you in an event. Beyonce has to go on tour. Like, she has to. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. It's not bad to have to go on tour. It's a blessing to have hundreds of thousands of millions of fans to want to come see you. Yes. But that can get pretty exhausting, okay? And pretty, you know, not good. Because eventually Beyonce is going to be at an age where she can't tour anymore. All right? And she's going to have to find a business that's going to make her money lucrative money. Okay? And, you know, where she's going to be able to be able to be in her bed under Jay-Z's big lipped ass and, you know, her badass kids running around the house. And she can still make money in her sleep, you know, without having to be stressed out and doing all this heavy, heavy, heavy pressure on her body every single night. And that's not even including rehearsals, okay? But yes, comment down below what's your opinion. New product, I don't want a new product. But what I do want is an extension of her current products, Okay. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to Carisha, okay? Um, there is some tea regarding her career, y'all, and it's not looking too good at all. It is not looking good at all. Carisha has officially been dropped, okay, um, from QC, all right? They're no longer going to be putting any money behind her projects, okay? Simply, be, simply because they just feel like she's just not doing it right, Okay. In no shape, but Miss Piss Pot is not doing it right at all. All right. Um, I'm not surprised she's gotten dropped by QC, her label. I'm not surprised at all. Every time she drops music, she sounds like somebody who speaks for the first time. Every time she drops music, she sounds like she's challenged. Every time she drops music, it just sounds very, 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 very unappetizing. Okay. I just don't feel like Carisha needs to continue to do music anymore. She could hop online and do her Carisha Please interview um, with her, you know, her podcast, Carisha Please. And she can sell her different various products. She can sell her um, Carisha Please board game where she, child, that game is disgusting. Very nasty. Why am I playing a game with my friends and we're offered to lick each other's coochies? What is going on here? Like, that game is just nasty. And you think this is actually fun? No, that's nasty. Okay, Diddy was definitely behind those card games, okay? That Carisha game, y'all, is so disgusting. I'm like, oh, who is playing this game and, like, actually finding it entertaining? Like, not every card game has to be sexual and freaky. I don't want to suck dick just to play a damn card game. Damn, bitch, can I just drink a little drink and have fun? Oh, my God. 
it's like everything got to be all sexual these days with these card games, okay? But anyway, that's how that's how Carisha gets her back, so I ain't mad at it. You know, she said she made millions off the game. I mean, she did make millions off the game, all right? Uh, but then again, it's like, girl, even then, it gets to a certain point with the Carisha game where it's like, it's just too much is too much, all right? Too much is too much. But anyway, um, yeah, she dropped by her label, y'all. She is dropped by her label, QC. Um, how do I feel about that? I feel like no shade. I don't think she's fully dropped. I feel like they're going to probably shelf her. <laughs> I feel like she's shelved, but I don't think that, like, I don't think she's actually, like, drop, drop. You know what I'm saying? I feel like right now they're putting all their attention on JT right now because she's actually bringing in some money. Her tours are sold out. Her music is actually going viral. People actually care about what she has to put out. Okay, Carisha, we look at her, we laugh, and then we move on. You know what I'm saying? It's not like people are, like, actively, like, invested in her musical journey and her story. Like, only the only story people ask her about is about Diddy. That's it. No, no, nobody else. Nobody else. But, yes, let's move on to this next topic. Wow, wow, wow. Moving on to Beyonce and Nicki Minaj, okay? Nicki Minaj clears the air, and um, as you all may or may not know, but there was recently a tweet Nicki Minaj posted that said, robots on timing, okay? Beehive went crazy, and Beehive was spiraling out and basically exposing how they feel about their favorite artist, Beyonce. Um, and basically, they were putting two and two together where nobody said Beyonce's name, okay? But Nicki Minaj has cleared the air on TikTok in a TikTok comment, and she said, um, this is absolutely a lie. Now, no shade, no shade, but I wish Nicki Minaj just didn't say anything and let them Beehive fans, you know, feel like they were, you know, getting some type of diss. Because I feel like sometimes it gets to a point where it's like the fans need to just feel dumb. Because like, bro, why would you think that Beyonce is being shaded by Nicki Minaj? I, I mean, like, come on, I feel like that's just insane to me. But yeah, she cleared it up. She said it was a lie. And many people are now saying, oh, well, she's just scared. She's scared to say her name. She's backtracking because of the backlash she's gotten online recently. She's scared. She's scared. Nicki Minaj is not scared of nobody. If she can go against Jay-Z, she can definitely go against Beyonce. No shade. Beyonce just don't bother nobody. So that's why it's like no point of Nicki Minaj having an issue with Beyonce. Because Beyonce sell you $3,000 tickets, sell you some damn whiskey, um, twerks on stage and leaves. Okay, that's all she do. She don't do much. She makes sure her face on the Olympics and go home and call y'all broke bitches and then ask for money in two in two days. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't understand why y'all act like people are so, you know, in war with Beyonce. Nobody's in war with Beyonce except for her damn husband. Nobody likes that man. Okay, he probably still cheating on Beyonce right now as we speak. Oh, honey, I'm, I'm going to go get, to go go, go get some pizza gone for three hours you know so i just feel like honestly beyonce don't have no, no enemies other than jay-z okay and beyonce don't bother nobody she just don't and you know Nicki minaj still performs feeling myself on stage to t- till today she played beyonce's music on her platform t- like like she literally played the sweet dreams song on her um station head so like i said there's no beef here okay why do the fans want Beyonce and Nicki Minaj to beef? Let's really clock that tea. That's really where it needs to stem from. That's really where the conversation needs to lie. Why do you all want Nicki Minaj to beef with Beyonce? Like, I feel like the gays or like the people who are online, they just love to see messy, messy, messy. She's fighting with her. Oh my gosh. Beyonce versus Nicki. Oh my gosh. Beyonce, Nicki, Nicki versus. Be quiet. Go get some money. Go get you a meal. Go get you some fresh air, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, no. I just feel like um, y'all always want to drag Nikki to some, into, into some beef with somebody. Please go do something else with your time. Thanks. And to the Beehive, why y'all up here like, I'm not even going to go there, but it's just crazy. It's crazy to see. Okay? But yeah, comment down below. What's your opinion? What's you all's opinion? We can chat. We can have a conversation. We can have a conversation. But moving on, though, moving on, though, she reposted it, though. She reposted it. What's T? Oh, my God. What's, what's, what's T? Okay. Um, She has a picture of Chucky putting up the middle finger. And she's saying robot on timing. So is this... Child, I can't keep up no more. I can't keep up. I just... I, <laughs> I can't. I just can't keep up. You know, I tried to be real kumbaya, kumbaya. But Nikki said, F that, baby. We putting it back up. What's T? Okay. Um, we're going to chat down below. Let's chat. 
Child, Rock Nation is working overtime. They're working overtime, overtime, okay? She's apparently about to be an honoree, okay? She's, she's, I just can't keep up. I can't keep up anymore. I can't keep up with this girl and, and they, these fake achievements. It's just, it's insane to me, okay? Um, so Megan Thee Stallion will be honored at the 2024 Golden Hearts Award. Why is she honored for? What is she being honored for? I mean, I just don't understand. I don't feel like Megan Thee Stallion is pushing anything new in music other than doing a Japanese record, okay? Other than that song, what's the impact that she's doing? The album flopped. You got three Grammys, but you can't sell an album. I mean, your tour did decent the first half of the first leg, but then after that, when you went overseas, the shows barely were selling. Um, I don't get it. Your music isn't charting on Billboard like that. No top 10 hits. What is the, the like, push here? I don't understand. I do not understand. What is she being honored for? Honored for what? She had the worst album of the year, sonically and statistically, okay? It was not good. What is this random ass push for Megan Thee Stallion, y'all? I'm not being a hater, I'm not, but I just do not feel like her year this year has been like record breaking and achieved. Like, it, I, I don't think so. I really do not think so. And, I, I'm not, and, and if she was having a great year, I would give her, give her props. I've given Glorilla her props. I've given people their props when they are doing well. But Megan, you're not, I, I, I mean, I feel like she was no way better in 2020 than she is now. And it's something that she get more awards now than 2020. It's just like, it's, it's weird. I'm just very confused. Rock Nation is working overtime, okay, to try to make her like the forefront of female rap. She's not the forefront of female rap. I don't think that she is. I don't think that she can be until she evolves a bit more. Um, I just don't see it right now, okay? Um, I don't know. Maybe people are paying for these awards. I think maybe Devil Nation is paying for the awards. Uh, but I don't know. But I just don't get it though. What is this put? What is she being honored for? No, I, I, I need a, a Megan Thee Stallion fan to comment down below. What is the big push here? Like, what is the appeal here? Like, you would think that she's having a Sabrina Carpenter year. You would think that she's having a Katy Perry in 2010 year. You would think that she's having a, what, an Ice Spice in 2023 year. You would think, you would think that she's having one of those years, but she's not. She's just not. But child, I don't know. We're going it is what it is. Congratulations to this little girl. I'm sorry, to this horse. And um, yeah, y'all, we're gonna just comment. We're gonna have to have a discussion because you know, I just I don't want to come across as bitter. That's why I'm asking for the Megan Thee Stallion fans to comment down below. You know, what is it that you all you all feel like she is deserving of being some honoree of 2024? You know, just comment down below. Okay, because I, I really want to have a fair conversation. And I don't want to sound mean. And, and you know what I'm saying? I just don't. I zone. I zone. Um, moving on to Katy Perry. Katy Perry, girl, it's just looking bad for her. Every time she turns around, like, it's like, child, she can never catch a break. Anyway, so Katy Perry's newest song, I'm His, He's Mine, featuring Dochi, okay? It came out recently. And <laughs> the song ain't even hit on Billboard. The song did not even chart on Billboard, y'all, Okay. The song has debuted on the Billboard Bubbling Under chart. The song debuts at number 24, okay? Um, now, this is not that bad because, you know, it's just like, you know, a couple spots under the Hot 100. So the Bubbling Under, in case you all do not know, but that is the songs that didn't make it to the main chart. It's like the secondary chart. You know how there's like the NFL League for the big dogs and the Varsity League? Yeah, you know, the varsity is like the bubbling on the chart and the Hot 100 is like the NFL. So, you know, the song is flopping. Katy Perry's flopping. Can she turn this around? Okay, can she turn this around? Um, I don't know. She tried to use Dolce to help boost her career, but no shade. But like, Dolce isn't even there yet to help boost anybody's songs yet. Like, Dolce doesn't have, it, doesn't have an impact yet. She's still trying to find her voice, her sound. But, you know, Dolce was definitely a good addition to the song. You know what I'm saying? Just for the artistic purpose, okay? Uh, but I, it just, it sucks to see this stuff. It sucks to see it, okay? Um, yeah, comment down below what's your opinion. People are now blaming Dolce for the flop, flopper, flopper, what is it? <laughs> floppery of the song. Um, child, I don't know. It is what it is now. Let's move on to this next topic. Congratulations to JT. JT is officially being pushed onto radio. 
JT Cumming has now entered the top 30 on US Urban Radio at number 29 with an audience of over 1.8 million people, okay, gaining over 100,000 in audience reach. So JT's song is doing pretty well. It's gaining on the platform of the um, radio airways. So JT is having a pretty good slow rise in her career right now. Um, you know, she's having a sold out tour and she is rising on the airways. Now, this is cool. This is great. Um, the song JT Coming is getting all the traction. The song is cute, but it's a very tacky song. It's just, I mean, it's fun, but it's just like, I don't know. I could have made that song. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But I guess that song is what's being pushed. I feel like they, they could have pushed another song. Like, I just don't feel like that song needs to be like, the you know, in the forefront of the album. Like, okay, y'all could have picked something else. But um, I feel like 90s Baby should have been pushed more than that song. Like, <laughs> I don't know what happened. But yeah, child, the fans want what they want. The fans want what they want. Period. Okay. So congratulations to JT on her record-breaking achievement. Well, record-breaking? I don't know. But it's being pushed right now heavily, okay? But yes, let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to Meek Mill. Meek Mill is tired of everybody coming for him, okay? Meek Mill says, I want to hire an investigation team, $100,000 cash, to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill name to Diddy Case. I also want them to look at who was powering the media involving Meek anything to do with buddy something not right um there are thousands of videos of you online okay around this man okay and him calling you daddy okay diddy has called you daddy online while you were in the pool backing that ass up and poking it out and tooting it like a thought hey what's up king son man you doing it man you deserve it daddy you putting in that work Proud of you, I love you. Yeah. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you, I love you. Uh-uh, don't run from me. Do not fucking run from me. You already knew the type of nigga I am before you got here. Don't play. Meek Mill, don't act so damn innocent. Okay, don't act so innocent. You was in there and your doonies be down. You was in there legs up, wide open behind your head. Uh, stop playing so many games. All the proof is online. All we gotta do is Google it and you popping up on our timeline. I hate you. No shade. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to Cardi B. Invasion of Privacy has now sold over 11.8 million total units worldwide. It extends its record as the best-selling female rap album of the 2010s okay so apparently people are saying that this is supposed to be you know the reason why everybody's mad at cardi b would would do well um no shade but the reason why this album has all these numbers is because her fans only have one album to listen to okay so of course they're going to be streaming it today okay but if she drops another album today watch it will not be the same Okay, and y'all keep on holding on to this invasion of privacy record like it's like y'all keep holding on to these numbers of this one album from over six, seven years ago. Like, let it go. You know how crazy you have to be to keep on holding on to a record from seven years ago? You know how insane you have to be to continue to keep on bring up, bringing up the same exact old ass album in your arguments online, okay, about who's the best seller from seven years ago? Like, come on now. It, it just gives like, oh, I was the best in high school. I was so popular in high school and you about 45 years old, okay? I cannot stand adults who are in their adult life bragging about their high school years. Move on. That's how I feel about Cardi B. It's over right now for you, okay? Until you can rebrand and change it up or do something different, it's over. And your fans need to stop bragging around this damn Invasion of Privacy album like it's a damn, I don't know, Medal of Honor. Mm, but hey, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, that's just how I feel. And if you agree or disagree, comment down below. We can have a nice conversation down below. And um, yes, y'all, that's all I got for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and tap the bell so you can get an alert every time I post. Yes, yeah, so beside the subscribe button is a bell, okay? B-E-L-L. -L. Like the bell ice cream? Yeah, B-E-L-L. -L. Okay, all right, I'm gonna see y'all next one. Be safe.